guys, what's going on? My name's Eclipse, and today I am back again with another leak for Clash Royale. And now I know, just a few videos ago, I posted two leaks back to back, and now here I am again posting another leak. I feel like every single day, more and more leaks are coming out, and since I enjoy uploading them, and since they get a lot of views, I'm just gonna keep on posting them. Let's be real. Now, one disclaimer before I do get into things, the leak I am reading from does come from Reddit. Now, everything from Reddit isn't always 100% true, but like most of the leaks on my channel, there's a pretty high percentage that everything I'll be reading in this video is going to be coming out. Now, if you guys are interested in this post right here, I will have a link to it down in the description below. So if you want to check it out for yourself, feel free to do so. But with that taken care of, let's get started. So as soon as you click that link that's in the description, the very first thing you'll see is shop special offers. And once you read under that, it says holiday packs. So pretty much, I'm assuming this is going to be for Christmas, but it says we're going to have a $5, a $10, and a $20 pack for the holidays. And if you spend that money, you pretty much get gems and a chest. And if you buy the offer again, you'll still get a prize, but it's just not going to be as good. And right under that, it says Chinese New Year pack. And this is kind of similar to the holiday pack, but it's a bit cheaper. So in this case, it's $1. $1, $5, and $10, and again, you get gems and a chest. Now, obviously, since this is cheaper, the prizes aren't as good, but you guys get the gist of things. We're pretty much going to be getting cool packs just because of the holidays, and I really don't have too much else to say besides that. I mean, I like it. It's a good idea, so let's move on. After that, it says troops, and there aren't too many things I can say about new troops, so essentially, in the code for Clash Royale, there are two troops there. Like, there are definitely two troops in the code. I can't stress that enough, but the only problem is we really don't have any info on the troops or what they'll look like, etc. However, we do have the stats for the troops, and if you're looking at one of them, it says uses the hog for his skin, and then under that, it says uses the witch for his skin. So I apologize if I was a little bit repetitive there, but I just want to stress, like, there is code for two new troops. It's just we don't have, like, any significant information about the these new troops. Hopefully you feel me. Hopefully we're on the same page. But with that being said, let's scroll on down to challenges. Now there are quite a few leak challenges and I know some YouTubers might have mentioned these before. So I'm sorry if you've heard of this before, but the first thing we're going to be going over is the three bridge challenge. And that's exactly how it sounds. There's two bridges on the sides and one in the middle. And I'm pretty sure Nick and Knight and Molt posted this the other day. And then my friend over on Twitter, he actually posted this screenshot right here and his friend sent him a friendly battle but it actually says three bridge challenge so this one right here is 100% confirmed like there's no deniability in this one at all now next we have the hero challenge now this one does cost 100 gems to enter and it pretty much gives you the same prize as the grand challenge now as far as the hero challenge goes I don't want to talk about this too much right now so let me just continue on and I'll touch back on this in a minute probably but after that, we have the Electro Wizard Challenge. And this challenge is going to be out very soon. And I'm not too sure if Clash Royale has made this one public yet. I know there have been quite a few things about this. So a lot of you probably already know about this one. But let me just give you all the details. So essentially, in the Electro Wizard Challenge, you can create any deck in the game with the Electro Wizard. So that means you'll have access to every single card. Now, if you get 12 wins in this challenge, not only are you going to get the Grand Prize, prize you're also going to get the electro wizard so yeah this challenge is amazing and i'm actually really excited for it the only problem is i'm not actually good enough to get 12 wins so we're just gonna see how that one goes and then the next thing i have to say about challenges isn't really about challenges but it kind of is let me just explain myself this one is coming to friendly battles and pretty much whenever you're doing a friendly battle you'll have access to all of the modes so that means you'll have access to the blind deck challenge the two times elixir challenge and of course if any other interesting challenges do come out those will most likely be added to friendly battles as well but for now that's all we know about that now if we scroll down a little bit more this is where things get extra interesting and this is the rarity category so under here it is pretty much saying a new hero rarity is going to be added but at the moment there isn't enough proof in the code to display any statistics about this pretty much in the game's code it says there's a hero 
rarity, but all of the information is the same as common cards. So they're kind of teasing us right now. They're saying like, hey, there will be a new rarity eventually, but for now, screw you. We're not telling you any information. And as far as a hero rarity goes, I assume it's going to be higher than a legendary, but for now, we're just going to have to wait and see. And don't think I forgot about going back to the hero challenge. So if we get a new hero rarity, I assume that would just kind of be counted towards the hero challenge. And again, since we don't know too much about heroes in general, I didn't want to make any strong assumptions about the hero challenge. So hopefully that makes sense. But with that taken care of, let's scroll on down to the next category. And this is chess. And this isn't too significant, and to be honest, this right here isn't a leak at all, but rather like an interesting fact. This says you have a higher chance at getting a legendary from clan chest. So if you're looking at this right here, you can see the percentages based off a regular chest compared to the clan chest. And then if you do some super crazy math formula, you can calculate all the percentages. But for now, I'm just going to assume that this guy is right. And now finally, moving on to the last category of this leak. This is the miscellaneous section, and it's says using gems to unlock chests will now cost you less gems so essentially you can open up more chests right away and you'll still have more gems so I guess Supercell is coming in clutch because they're looking out for us and then finally the very last thing I have to say in this video is a Titan arena layout file has been leaked let me just explain and again I apologize if this is confusing at all but in the game's code they found proof of a potential Titan arena but the thing about this is that the there isn't enough proof in the code to actually look at pictures or to even see if they have any progress on this and the dude who made this leak said private server owners might be able to test it out but at the moment I'm not too sure where this Titan arena is going to fall and like I said earlier that's the very last thing I had to talk about so hopefully you all enjoyed if you found something new or found this video interesting please give the video a like down below but guys this has been Eclipse and peace out